Hi guys, Tony Brooks Hire here. I'm the service manager at Sigma Thermal. Today we're going to identify the system components of a convection heater that's at one of our customer sites in northern Indiana. The inlet to the fuel train, main strainer, inlet pressure gauge, this is the pilot gas tap. Pilot gas regulator. This is the main gas regulator. Downstream pilot gas pressure gauge. Low gas pressure switch and pressure gauge. Pilot blocking and bleed valves. Main gas blocking and bleed valves. High gas pressure switch. Downstream pressure gauge. Main blocking valve. This is the low recirculation airflow switch sensor. This is the ignition transformer box. Fuel control valve, actuator, disconnect switches for the blower fan and the research fan. This is the combustion air blower motor. This is the combustion air damper actuator. Combustion air damper. Expansion joint. This is the pilot gas connection burner. Low combustion air pressure switch. This is the UV flame scanner. And this is also the uh, spark plug, the igniter. This is the connection for that. And the sight glass to view the flame. This is the burner uh, nameplate, the model number, size of the burner, right here. This is to be a Maxon LE12 kinetizer burner. This is the air test connection port. And this is the fuel gas connection test port. And this is the combustion chamber test port. This is the temperature controller. The burner management display. The high temperature for the process or the outlet temperature. This is the limit. The chamber temperature limit. Inlet temperature indicator, stack temperature limit. These are just lights. Power on, system fault, heat demand. So the burner, control switch, on off, emergency e-stop, alarm silence, and the alarm horn.